We're in London for FutureNet World 2025. I'm here with Francis Hayson from Affledore Research. Francis, thanks very much for joining us. You've had a very busy couple of days here at the event. Part of your duties, moderating a panel that actually wasn't about AI or automation. I think it might have been the only one in the two days here, uh, but yours was uh, focused on uh, Open RAN. Were, were there any specific sort of, you know, takeaways or outcomes from that particular session? Yeah, I think, Ray, I would say if, if, if we went back three three years, a discussion on Open RAN would have really been the centerpiece. It would have been the, the, the centerpiece of any discussion in, in, in this area. Open RAN felt like a lot of sort of added uh, added piece um, to this this year's this year's show, and I think that, that 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 is really a sort of sense of where we where we where we got to it. In one sense, Open RAN has now become a very mature technology in the sense that uh, many operators worldwide are now very visibly rolling out Open RAN Open RAN platforms. But at the same time, a lot of the sort of energy, the innovation, etc., isn't isn't really there. What we're seeing is uh, op open use of open standards, but very much the, the traditional players taking the, uh, the, the major, major role, role here. And I think in terms of the discussion I had, um, we, we had a, 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 a representatives from three operators, Telenor, Free um, and VMO2 um, in the UK. Um, and, and very much some of them were, um, three, for example, was still very much at that kind of evaluation stage as sort of like, we, we can't make the economics and scale, um, full, full, fully work out, work out for us. Others are at the level, yes, we do want this. We want this in terms of resilience, but, but we're still not quite sure of the, the, the full benefits from what, what, what we're getting. The business case still looks a bit like a traditional RAN. Um, Others were also talking uh, largely about th th there is this underlying procurement problem and the system integration problem. Um, the procurement problem from a, a point of view of, well, what is it different that I'm buying? Um, but also the procurement thing from a sort of, yes, if I buy it as an integrated whole, which kind of negates the whole reason for openness, if I buy, if I buy this as an integrated whole, I get insurance, I get validation from, uh, from a single vendor. If I buy it from multiple vendors, put it together myself, it suddenly becomes my problem. Um, I may not have the skills, I may not have the, the capability to do that one. So some of the discussion I think was a lot, a lot about this one, where, where this responsibility sits. Um, uh, how do we, we're still in a situation where we haven't quite got that story, uh, that, that story, that story right. Okay. And do you think that's kind of, um, the story of the, the, the bigger, broader picture? I mean, if you had that discussion, you know, in, in another market next week, do you think it would be any different at all? I think it, it comes down to the, the, pot, the open round has become a kind of sort of procurement a uh, tick box rather than where it, where it's original we 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 talked on the sh uh, on the uh, panel about this sort of has the original vision diverged from the reality aware and and I think the honest answer is yes it has the vision was very much of innovation that you would use the fact that you had opened up the various interfaces in 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 the RAN itself as a means of innovation, you might get better spectral efficiency, you might get better controller algorithms, you may get better um, scheduling algorithms for private networks versus public networks rather than every, everybody kind of uses the same, the, the same algorithms. All of that opportunity is, is there, but, but the, the, the business case of how would I innovate that, that thing or how important is entering a new private networks market or a particular IoT device, I think that, that's, that, that connection is not yet being made within, within the industry or it's not being made at a point that says, yes, this is a way in which this, me adopting the com some of the complexity of multiple vendors has an endpoint which says I, I I gain more revenue, I gain a better credibility in the market, a better network. That that uh, it's really hard to make that 
that case, whereas that was there in the vision at the beginning, but we're kind of missing that now. So probably this time next year, things will have kind of almost matured even further and there'll just be a bunch of open RAN deployments, but with a single vendor. And although I think I'm, I, I did hear one of the speakers say, but at least I'll have the option if I want to swap out some radios or add some radios or swap out the SMO in the future, I can. But the likelihood is that... But what, what does it, the question is, what does that do? Why would you, if, if you're not considering doing it today, what's going to change in a year's time to say, yes, I will swap out an SMO? That's a major piece of work. You've, yes. you've taken maybe an integrated player's SMO. Now you're going to rip it out. All of us in this in this industry know the sort of calamitous failures of many transformations that are, are yeah. simply a rip and replace. That, that, that business case I guess just maybe that ticks a box as well. It, but it, tick, it? it ticks a box in sort of saying, yes, I, I, I've given myself some diversity. I may be being cynical in that one. I give, I've ticked a box saying, yes, I, uh, I, I, I have, I've got a theoretical escape lane in, in, in this one. But the reality is you, probably you'll never use that. Okay. All righty. Well, there we go. Uh, open round wrapped up in uh, a couple of minutes. Fantastic. Well, you know, thanks, Francis, because, uh, you know, that, that, that does give us an update on, on where we are. And I think that pretty much in, encapsulates the, what we're seeing at the moment in the market. So uh, appreciate you providing us with that update. Thanks very much. That's a pleasure, Ray. Thank you very much.